hard on the old timers. I heard another one pass in the night. The Sun Ring. A proud tradition of Akaja. It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Every time, I'm sure they miss it. Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, succeed. to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, I tell you, even if it means having to listen to Bahavi or whatever. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. It's a nice idea, but what's the point? It won't bring us home any faster. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. But the Kestrels. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. Even if the This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight.
The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. You worry me. Another manhunt. How many men and women can one tribe lose? Odin. Leader of Odin's marvels. You've a fresh face. When you're less an eye or an ear or two, you'll fit right in. First impressions make the sale, except in this snake pit. They'll take whoever shows up. This isn't your first job for the Shadow Karja? Scared of their own shadows, Karja, more like. They spit on me, but the shards are good. Look at those nobles. I say noble, but you can't dress a rat in silk and call it a rat king, can you? Sunfall is a house of clay. If you were to stamp your foot, it would all crumble. Shouldn't you all be setting out to hunt Uthid? Have you never done this before? Whoever goes first just leads the others. Just take a load off and avail yourself of some Karja booze until someone sniffs out the trail. Then watch us seek out our prey, straight as a ravager's shot. Zip! Are you sure you're gonna be able to walk in a straight line? What are you getting at? Do you think Uthid did what they're accusing him of? I hope so. It'll make him more dangerous. My advice, it's best not to overthink such things. Uh, overthink whether he's guilty or innocent? <laughs> you let all these thoughts in your head, you'll never make it as a mercenary. Only thing that matters is dead or alive. If they say alive, bring a rag to stuff in its mouth. But these days, no one wants alive. Farewell, Odin. Good hunting. If I should have cause to kill you, you won't suffer. Oh, thanks. If you've got a problem with me, talk to Odin. If he can stand his breath. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from, 
How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one risking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really? So surprised. Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. 
Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter, Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Who's there? Speaking of which, mind if I smoke a tobacco cigarette? Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. You're here, Shut up. No more. I'm me! Coming, bro! We're too close to let tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what do they contain?
there is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible. But it really cannot be stopped? Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai. My friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed.
void. But then... remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life. Yes. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo. The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Alert. Medical wing inaccessible. 